Hi everyone, Richard here. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. And this is not a planned video, but I thought I would quickly record it because it's something that I have to do. And it is how to, um, a quick video on how to move your Lightroom catalog and the photos from one hard drive, perhaps your computer or your laptop hard drive to an external hard drive or from one external hard drive to another external hard drive because it's something I've just had to do. So why not record it, share it with you guys and somebody might find it useful. Okay, so like I say, welcome back to the, to the channel. Um, my name's Richard, nice to have you here. This is my YouTube channel, just all about my photography, things I'm learning and things I'm sharing with everyone in the hope that it, somebody might find it useful and I enjoy doing it as well. So what I have today is a, um, I have lots of photos. I have like hundred, lots of photos, 50,000 personal photos and even more um, work photos. And I currently have about seven or eight hard drives, this kind, where are they? So hard drives like this, um, Western Digital, this is a six, five or six terabyte hard drive. They fill up quickly, especially with the videos I'm recording. So I have decided to get two 20 terabyte hard drives um, to transfer the work that I've, the, to transfer the five terabyte hard drive that I'm working on at the moment. And then this should now see me for a good few years because that will give me 20 terabytes in total to, to play with. I bought two of them, so one, to work on and one as a backup. But I now need to move all of my photos from my individual hard drives onto the new uh, 20 terabyte hard drive, which uh, is something that I am in the process of doing. Um, there's a whole, I have two Lightroom catalogs, one for my work um, and for my personal photos and one for these little tutorials. I keep them separate because um, I just find it easier that way. But as a rule, if you're not doing things like this, I would recommend one Lightroom catalog, but that's another story. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move my catalog and the photos that I use for these little tutorials um, over from one hard drive to the new hard drive and it's gonna involve moving both the photos and the catalog because they're two different things. Um, so we are gonna jump straight into the screen and have a look at what I'm doing there because it's um, you have to do it a certain way if you don't do it a certain way, you could sever the connection between your photos in Lightroom and the photos on the hard drive. So let's go into Lightroom now and into Finder because I'm on a Mac and I'll show you the best way. Okay, so welcome to Lightroom, but first, welcome to Finder. Now, there is a wrong way of doing it, like I said, or it's not a wrong way, but it's not the best way. And I'm gonna show you that really quickly now. So. I am in Lightroom and here are all the images that I've got and I'm in the landscape folder here and we at the top here we have landscape 1000. In Finder I have landscape 1000. Now let's just pretend that we are going to move these by the folder on in the Finder window or in your Windows um, File Explorer or whatever it's called in Windows. I'm just gonna move one photo as an example. I'm gonna hold down Command so that it moves the photo. And I'm gonna move it from PHO1 Master, which is my old hard drive. And I'm gonna move it just quickly in 20 folder on the new hard drive. So we can see now that Landscape 1000 is on the new hard drive. And it's gone from the old hard drive. If we come back to Lightroom, you can see that we get this error message. And if we double click on it, you can see over here on the right that the photo is missing, can't be used because the file could not be found. Now, of course, we could go in and locate it and try and track it down and relink it and stuff like that, but that is a waste of time. So we're gonna cancel this. We're gonna head back to here and our good old friend Control Z to bring it back. And we can now see that we've got the original photo back again. So that's how not to do it. Now let's really quickly show you how to do it. So I basically want to mirror, um, or I want to move this Lightroom, um, Photos for Lightroom Tutorials. I want to move this folder here, Photos for Lightroom Tutorials, onto 
from PH01 master onto home 001. Um, and like I say, we are gonna do that from Lightroom. So hard drive is called home 001, back to Lightroom. We do not have a drive called home 001. So we need to bring that into Lightroom. We are gonna click on the plus sign here and we are gonna add a folder. We are going to go to home 001. We are gonna to go to photos, we're gonna to go to Lightroom and we are gonna put the folder in here and the folder I am gonna call it the same as it is on here, photos for Lightroom tutorials. Folder for Lightroom tutorials. Got to rename that because it's called photos for Lightroom tutorials. Okay, so we are now gonna add that folder to the Lightroom hierarchy or the Lightroom um, network or the, the into the Lightroom folders basically. So we can see here photos for Lightroom tutorials, home 001, photos for Lightroom tutorials, but it's still on P01 master. All we have to do now is in Lightroom, Highlight the folder you want to knit, you want to move. We've got library 75 photos and we are just gonna click and drag up to the home 001. You can see here, it will cause the files to move on disk. That's great, that's what we want to happen. And back to finder and we can see now that they have gone from PH01 and they are now in Home 001, which is what we want. Photos for Lightroom tutorials and the library is there. And if we come back to Lightroom, we can see that we have photos for Lightroom tutorials in Home 001. P Photo One Master is now empty and we can just right mouse click and we can remove that folder fact we can yeah let's remove that folder and it's gone so we now have the photos have now been moved from the old hard drive to the new hard drive but we now want to move the catalog because I keep the catalog in the same place as the photos then I know where everything is um, if I ever need to find one or other of them but that does have to be done in Finder because you have to close Lightroom for that to happen. So we are gonna shut down Lightroom and we are back now in the Finder window. And we have the old PH01 master and we have the Lightroom catalog for tutorials and I'm just gonna drag that into the photos for Lightroom tutorials folder. Command to, make, to tell the computer I'm moving it and I'm not um, copying it. Command, click on there. And we are dragging it into there. It's moving all those items. So there is now nothing in this folder here. So we can right mouse click and get rid of that. And we now have the folder photos for Lightroom tutorials and we have the library with all the photos in and we also have the one with the catalog in and it's on home 001 which is what we wanted. We are going to double click on the catalog. It's open in Lightroom. And we can see that we're back to where we started with our 75 photos in the library and the catalog are both now in home 001 on the new hard drive. So there we go, I hope that proved a useful exercise. We've moved the photos and the catalog from one hard drive to the other. And like I say, that could be from a ex small external hard drive onto a bigger one, or from your hard drive on your computer to an external one to free up space on your computer's hard drive. That's it for today, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.